Hi everyone and welcome. This is Crafty Lady. Um, I have a short video I want to make. I hope it's going to be short on how to make a flip book. People in my groups have been asking how to do one and to do a tutorial so I'm going to do one. The first thing that I did was I took six pieces of paper. I'm going to make this five by five and I got three the same because this is going to be my outside right here. These are going to be my inside. You can pick whatever colors you want. You can even do it if you have double sided paper but I want to show you how to do it this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay my three sheets out and this is going to be um, that's going to be the bottom or the outside of it. So what we're going to do is, don't mind my mess, I've got like 10 projects going on at once here. We're going to um, use some tape and we're going to tape all the way around all these. So I probably should have had this done before we did this. And I'm going to show you how to make this without using washi tape for your seams. Um, you're going to use like a, what they call a spine. This way it holds up way better than any washi tape. As you know, washi tape com keeps coming apart, comes off. Um, and if you put all the time into your book, you don't want it to fall apart on you. So I'm trying to hurry here. I don't have a tape, one of those AG guns, whatever they call them. I just cannot afford one. So I have tape that I go on eBay and I get five rolls for a dollar forty-seven. Can't beat that with a stick. Okay, so I am going to take all this tape off. We're going to take it off too right now. Let's see. I just got such a mess going. I've got happy mail that I've sent out and I'm trying to do a pocket letter for um, Let Your Wishing Begin for uh, a lady that wished on my channel. Uh, I'm trying to grant her wish of a birthday pocket letter or flip book. I'm waiting to hear. She probably already responded but by now but I've been busy all day and then I decided I would try to do this real quick before I got into anything else and didn't get this video made. I just throw my stuff everywhere and then I gotta clean it. My husband says oh you clean it and then you dirty it as fast as you clean it. Well if you have a craft station and it's clean all the time, you ain't crafting. Because you all know that if you're crafting, you're going to have a mess. I don't care how many times you clean it. That's the art of crafting. Okay, now that we have all these done here, what you're going to do is you're going to cut a piece of paper this is about um, an inch wide. This is cardstock is what it is. And what I did was I made it just a tad shorter than this. And uh, you're going to score this at one half, which is directly in the middle. You are going to fold this in half. And what you're going to do is you're going to take oops, this side your first paper and you are going to line that up. And the one thing about this sticky tape is you gotta not really press it down hard at first because if you make a mistake you're not going to get it off. You don't get much play time. Okay so now we got that there. So then what we're going to do 
is we're going to take our second piece of paper. We're going to hook it to our hinge this way. I probably should have left that tape on all the other corners. And you're going to leave just a, a little gap. <coughs> Sorry. Because you don't... Uh, well, there. And then that's your hinge. And it will show, and this is where you can put the washi tape if you want. Right there. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Then we, you know, we got another one, one inch. Scored it in the middle. This is a super fast way too. And it holds together really good. We're going to put this one on here. And you're going to connect this. Okay, and then you're going to take your last piece of paper and you're going to connect that. Not too good at holding this up in the air and doing it. Okay, so now we have the, the front of our book. So what we're going to do now, we're going to rub them down. You're going to take your other three pieces of paper and you're going to put them in wherever you want to put them whatever, uh, you know, which colors you want first. Oh, and then when you, what I did forget to tell you is we're going to need some sticky tape here because we use that other sticky tape that we put there to connect these um, spines together. So we want our paper to hold down. And I think I am just about better get a new roll of tape, ounce of tape. Good thing this stuff is cheap because I go through a lot of it. And I buy it on eBay. From comes from Japan or something, but I don't care. I'll wait for it for that instead of $5 a roll in the store. I order ahead of time when I get ready to run out. This last time I ordered... 30 rows of it, so I should be good for just a little bit there. But when you're making cards and you're making these books, it takes a lot, a lot of tape. Um, you can use glue if you like. I prefer not waiting on it to dry. I'm very impatient. Alright, so I'm going to put this one right here. Maybe I should have made my paper a little longer. I think I should have made my paper a little longer. Then we're going to put, I want to put this one here. Oh, that's why, yep, yeah, I should have made it a tad longer, but it, then it's going to fold up if I do that. So, And don't worry, if it comes out, it always does on me, a little bit longer like that. All you have to do is trim it off. It's very minimal, but I don't know why I end up off sometimes. I usually do. I think because sometimes I give myself a little extra length just in case. Okay, so that's all done. So now. This is our flip book. Right here. So what we're going to do now 
is we're going to decorate it. Oops. Make sure that's all it's in. nice and tight. So we're on the front, since this is going to be a birthday one, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this birthday cake on here. And I'm going to add, it came with a sticky thing, but I'm going to add a little more glue. I mean, tape, just to make sure. I don't have the hot glue going. Usually I would to hot glue this stuff like this so it doesn't come off. Especially when you're opening and closing it a lot and you're giving it to somebody. You want it to not fall apart on them. Okay, so since this is my birthday, I'm going to do this here like this. I'll put this in the middle. And then I am going to put this up here. Happy birthday. So I'm going to use some tape. Like I said, lots of tape. And you can decorate this any way you want. That's the fun thing about this. So Jean, I hope you're not watching this. There's that. And I might wait to upload this till she gets hers. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside here. And I am going to use, I'm going to put this doily here. And then when you open it up, it says, have your cake and eat it too. And then there's a picture of a cake. So I'm going to put this right here on this one. All I did was I took a doily. Um, I took two doilies and I glued it together. Because when I stamped, it kind of went through. And I thought, oh, I should have maybe just had, did a rub on, but I already had it done and I didn't want to waste. So I did the two together and I glued them and I let them set. Sorry, I'm trying to make this as fast as I can. And then I'm going to take this birthday washi tape. And I'm going to put that right here. Okay, so now when you open that up, it says, have your cake and eat it too. Then, I made this little um, thing why it has a pocket here. I'm going to put some more tags in here and here. And then I, what I, I left this one off because I wanted to show you. What I did was I took a long piece of paper. I folded it in half. And then I took this one side and I did it a little bit shorter and tucked that in and I did the other sides longer and then what I did was I I taped this part I taped this part I taped the shorts um, let me see make sure oh yeah the, the the short side you'll tape each side of that and then you score this at a half an inch so that it will fold up so let me take this real quick Maybe one day my kids will get me a little bit better camera so it's easier for you guys to see. They might feel sorry for their mom and get her one maybe one day. I keep telling them, buy me craft stuff, buy me camera, buy me craft stuff. Maybe they'll get the hint. Um, okay, so let me make sure that I got the right side. Alright, I want to use this side. And this how you can make a pocket really nice for yourself to hold tags. And you don't have you can do just one pocket if you want to do just one, and you don't want to do three. It it's it's like use your imagination. Whatever you want to do with these flip books, you can. And 
and I rounded the corners with my um, one, two, three punch. So now that I have this like this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of tape right here. I don't want to tape the whole thing because I want to make sure that they can flip this to go to the next section. And then I'm going to put this right down at the bottom of the one. So now I did um, some tags. I coordinated with that and I just used some of my punches that I had. And I wanted to put the longer ones there so that they wouldn't hang out of the book. So I got these. You open that there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put something here. Let's see. This one doesn't want to fold. Okay, so let's see. We'll put something on each side of these. I think I think I'm gonna put a rose on this side. Just because it'd be like a flower for her birthday. And you can leave it blank if you want. I like a little more decoration. Sometimes I get carried away and get too much, but to me, I don't think you never can have too much. Um, and then it's hard to fold. Okay, so I got the flower there, and I want to put something here. That way, when you turn the pages, it don't look so bare. Um, let's see what we're going to put here. Maybe I'll put a heart on this side. Just some kind of decorations. And you can use puff dots on here, but it's hard to get it to close and ship through the mail okay so I'm gonna tape this down I don't know do I want to put something there too maybe yeah we're gonna put a happy birthday over here And I never finish one side. A lot of people like to finish one side and go to the next. I'm like the kind of person, uh, probably if when I was a kid, if they could diagnose you um, ADHD, they probably would me. Or I'm just very all over the place, hyper. Um, I jump from project to project and back and forth. I have a hard time with it used to be really good at not doing that when I was working before I became disabled. Now I try to multitask sometimes a little bit too much. I need to stop it. Okay, so this was, uh, what I did was um, I took my punch and I di did a border here. First I put a pocket in and I kind of wanted to make this look kind of scruffy. So I scruffed that up. And so now that um, I made one pocket there and then this here you can fit underneath there too and maybe I made it too tight and this one's not quite as long I think I made that one too tight but when I did this pocket what I did was I took a piece of paper let me show you um, I took like a, say this was a paper and I folded this over and I folded this over and then that's why I got more room on that one and I taped just the outside here that way when you got it in there it's in a lot more room to move around and I didn't do that one with the bottom one so it's just going to be like a decorative border and it's going to stay that way so I don't know I think those are too small for there but I kind of want to give her a lot of coordinated tags that she could use and I'm going to go back and I'm going to I don't want to do it right now but I'm going to stamp some sayings on those ones so that they're not all plain and then I'm going to attach this one right here. Well, and it looks like I'm going to be too long. So what I'm going to have to do, 
Oh, that's kind of crappy, too. A well, good thing this comes off. Um, we'll put this one. We'll move up. See, it's if you good thing if you can get that off. We're gonna move. I'm sorry. We're gonna move that down, and then we're gonna take this one, and we're gonna move this one down. You can see you can always fix everything. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this one off. So. Uh, hopefully it will cut because it's so thick. I am going to cut this off. And then we're going to take that. Now it will fit. See, because we don't want it hanging out the end. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some more washi tape here, even though we don't need it. I just don't want the spine showing. And then you're going to take this part here on the bottom where you scored it. And since that one's the back one, we don't want it. Oh, there we go. And then it's, it has all these tag holders. Then we got to put something here and here and here. I just got to figure out what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to put this camera here and smile. So I like taking a picture for your birthday. So I think I'm going to do that. Or I have made. I'm going to do this first. I'm going to make another pocket. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a pocket. So what you're going to do? See, I'm always one thing or another. Okay, so. And you can decorate this any way you want. And I'm probably not going to finish this on here. I'm just trying to give you guys an idea. And you'll put a little card in here too. Um, I'm going to use the back. I made a card that I'm going to use to put in there, put my letter in there. Okay, see now you got another pocket. And then I made some envelopes to match. So I'm going to fold that up. Fold that. Put some tape on there. And tape on there. Then after this, I'm going to um, not finish this. Um, so. I can show you guys a couple other ways. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, like three envelopes on here with little things. And one will have my letter in here. And then I'll finish decorating the rest of this. But this is how this one is going to be to give you an idea how easy it is. And then I will decorate this side. And I don't know about decorate the back. But I will decorate this side and this. And this is just giving you an idea so it's pretty easy and remember when you use your cardstock to make your spine um you don't have to your tape because all this washi tape comes apart 